Actually, sure, no, we're we going to do, do stuff about Geek talk. Nation. Okay, let's talk Geek Nation tours. I have, I have um, leaked Geek Nation. Uh, uh, so, there. do you want to talk about some of their upcoming tours? Yes, actually, I was thinking about that because the, the big one is Japan, I think. Uh, yeah, so actually, the first one before Japan is uh, Gen Con. Gen, they always oh, do an amazing right, trip yes. down to Gen Con. Uh, again, it, uh, I'm not sure exactly where the hotel is because I mean, Gen Con is spread over like something like 10, 15 blocks of, uh, of downtown Indianapolis. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of um, uh, all the bars and, and, and local eateries. Uh, Partake in it, it. Whenever Gen Con comes into town, a lot of them will, will have themed um, drinks and, and food options. Uh, they, they really get into the spirit. They really embrace the, the convention. No, is that the one you're telling me they're coming up that you actually get to play in Gary Guy guys? No, no. That's that's a completely separate um, tour okay. to Lake Geneva, I think, is where it's taking place. All right. Mm-hmm. And uh, you go to the home of Gary Gygax, and um, His... Gary Gygax's son runs uh, you through uh, uh, one of the... Well known Forgotten modules. Realms, or uh, I, don't, I don't think it's no. Forgotten Realms. No, but it, it would be a Greyhawk thing because yeah, that's where they got started. But still, that's pretty amazing for a tour. You get to go spend you know time in Gary Gax's house. Exactly. I'm, I'm going to give you details as soon as I get onto the Geek yeah. tour. Uh, but I have to admit, like he, I've Devram's done it for years in a row, and he's been trying to get us to go as well. And this year, I finally said, okay, I, you know, I, I, I went. Yes, I'm going to Depticon and going with Geek Nation tours, and I never looked back. It was it was great. Uh, so I know Terrace right now. You're not you're not watching this, but we want to do want to put a shout out to you. Uh, thank you for making a great trip and uh, keep up the great work for uh, Geek Nation. Um, and there's just so many. Uh, Paul's got it up right now. There's a lot of stuff uh, coming up to do with the tours. I know Derham also did the Japanese one, which he says was the best trip he's ever taken. Correct. In my entire life. Not, not a, my, the best Geek Nation tour. No, it's an overall, the best period. trip I've ever been on. Oh, I think the RPG one is the one with... Yep, the, I've, I've got it up right here. So it's called um, the Classic RPG Retreat in Lake Geneva. It starts on uh, July 1st. Play in the home of uh, Gary Gygax, so his son Ernie Gygax will run you through Tomb of Horrors module. So oh, module oh, S1. Tomb of, oh yeah, my exactly. God! Oh, we're talking classic, classic, uh, classic. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. And watch your death count go up because Tomb of Horrors, you're going to lose some PCs. So that's aw- that's a great that's a great trip. Um, there's also uh, what's the Space Limited one there, Paul? Uh, so there's there's a couple other trips that are still in the planning. Unfortunately, Gen Con is currently closed for booking, so yeah. y- it's too late for that. Uh, the limited space one is the Star Trek Into the Valley of Fire, where uh, Gary Nemchek, Nemechek, um, yeah. who is um, like, kind of like a, a Star Trek historian, uh, he was he played the role of Bones on one of the TV uh, shows. Uh, no, not not the actual TV shows, oh. but, but the ones that after the After Trek. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, right. I, I, after Trek, Beyond yeah. Trek, or uh, yeah, one one of those. Um, we we can do more research and, and and find out who it is. He actually plays the role of Bones. Um, for four or five episodes, uh, it's actually a pretty good show. I, I watched the the episodes; they oh, yeah. very classic track. Yeah. Uh, so he is basically your host, and you you go into the into the place where the the famous battle between Kirk and the Gorn was oh, uh, really? was was <laughs> filmed. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah, so it's there's a there's a bunch of really cool stuff. Uh, another huge. Um, Oh, uh, Gladiators of Ancient Rome. Yes, oh. this, this one's going to be amazing. So anyone who's listened to um, one of the Freebooters Network's uh, uh, shows that we do um, called the, the Scholarly Warrior, uh, uh, Daniele Bolelli from the History on Fire podcast and channel, uh, who's a, another really well-famed Italian historian, uh, currently living in California of all places, but he uh, he's going to be your host as you go to uh, Italy, and he's going to take you through the the gladi- gladiatorial combats in uh, in the arena. And it's just going to be a tour through Italy where, where you talk about uh, incredible battles that took place there. It's one of their battlefield series, much like the the Japan trip. Speaking of the Japan trip, in the Japan trip. Uh, your host for that is going to be Stephen Turnbull, famed historian, author of over 180 books on Japan, samurai culture, and that sort of thing. He's going to be your host uh, as you travel through the country of Japan, and, and uh, he's going to introduce you to things. That's actually different from the tour that I was on. It's um, there, There's a, a bit more added bonus if you're going to go on this year's tour. Uh, I think those are the major ones that are currently available. Uh, 
that uh, the Rome one is going to be a lot of fun. Oh yes, uh, I wish I could. Like, it's if I also, fi- it's also five grand U.S. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, well, all, all of them are yeah, about all, all of their their like not con ones, but all of the other tours are usually around that price point. They're incredibly expensive, but the thing about it is it covers all of your accommodation, it covers all of your uh, travel in the country, it covers all of Plus a spe- lot of your meals, and, the special and, and just the access to special knowledge, special events, special places that regular people don't yeah. get to go to. That's cool. Yeah. So there's a ton of stuff happening at... Uh, Anime Asian giant tours. robots. What? So there, there's actually a second <laughs> Japanese trip that's... that's, that, that's Currently booking. I don't know if it's happening this year. I think he's alternating the trips to Japan. So every year there's different thing. Going to be a trip to Japan. Uh, yeah, this one's set for 2020, and that one's focused less about samurai and historical battles and more about the other major thing coming out of Japan, which is anime. Yeah, and Godzilla. Oh, which actually Godzilla coming out. King of Monsters is coming out soon as well. Do you mean May 31st? Gorzira. Gorzilla. Gorzira. That's the American one. Godzilla. Godzilla. Oh, Gojira. Gojira. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Yeah, Patrick actually posted something. What's the? Uh, I post things all the what's time. What's this Fro- Frostgrave Immersion 101? Okay, so Frostgrave is a game that Terrace has uh, become in just fallen in love with over the past uh, three or four years. It's the game for which I created a um, an army of pirates. Oh, for him. oh, that one. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So Frostgrave, it's um, it's a skirmish level battle simulator. It, it's it's similar to uh, some of the GW games. Um, uh, Mordheim in in, speci- in in particular, where you put together like a gang. Yeah. Uh, this one, uh, there's always like a mage in, at the head of your gang, and then a bunch of like fighter dudes who will protect the mage. Oh, that's similar to what's that? Uh, the game you liked? Mordheim. No, no, no. The the role playing game, uh, where you you're the main guy's a mage. And oh, oh, Ars our, our Magica. Ars Magica. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. I guess it would be similar. Which, to that. You which could... we have, and we still need to play sometime. Uh, yeah, I'd be I, up for I, have, that for sure. I have all of the books. Uh, add it to the list of games we <laughs> would like to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. Like, remember t- yeah, cause that, but that's what I was thinking about. As soon as I heard you have a mate, the main character is a mage, yeah. and then the, the rest are like not henchmen, but sort of, you know. Mm, right. But there, you, you put together, uh, your mage puts together a band of, uh, of tough dudes who will protect him as they travel the lands of Frostgrave looking for things. Uh, there, there's a whole background story to it that I'm not too familiar with. Um, I've I've seen it demoed one time at Adepticon. Uh, it seems like an interesting game, and the thing he likes most is just um, you have a lot of freedom with how you want to paint up your models and what models you use. You can bring any like there's no set models. Oh, really? For, so you can use for, any, you use any uh, models. What's you the want. size? Twenty eight, twenty five. Yeah, about about twenty eight millimeter. Yeah, yeah, pretty standard. So if, if you have a lot of old uh, Ralph Parth or D and D figurines that you want to use, you can oh, use those. those. If you want to use, uh, there's a a lot of fantasy stuff available from um, Reaper Miniatures yeah. and for like super cheap. Their bones models are like three or four dollars. Yeah, they're per really model. And they're, they're nice and they're incredibly detailed. Yeah. but they're just in like a, ch- a cheap plastic. But it's still it, the plastic is is such that it doesn't really even need to be base coated or um, uh, primered. Yeah. you can actually start painting around right the model. Oh, that's... And in fact, Reaper runs the the paint and and, and keep um, booth. Yeah, or our setup at Adepticon every year. Uh, we should really talk to them about coming up to a con like this yeah. when it gets to a size gets a bigger where size, they yeah. would be interested. Yeah, I like I like what it says here at the very bottom of this scene. It says, "Non-geek spousal argument, but think of the historical sites." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, for a lot of the tours the Terrace runs, he has the the regular tour, but he also has as well a uh, a spouse. Um, yeah, discount or addition? something? Addition? No, yeah. not, not oh. necessarily discount, but an addition. So if yes. you want to bring your spouse, uh, you, the two of you share a room, so that's a little bit easier. Like normally, all, all of the, the tours you're on, it's double occupancy for all of the, the rooms. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're randomly paired with a person you may never have met before. Regardless who you're paired up with, you're going to have a good time because all the people on the tours are great people. I've never had a bad experience on, on one of these tours, and I've gone on nine or ten over the course of the last eight years. Uh, cool. Yeah, ten or eleven, actually. Eleven over the last eight years. So I've gone to eight Adepticons in a row. I went to England for the miniatures, uh, the, the GW uh, yes. Games Day. I went to um, Arizona for the uh, Battle Foam Tournament. And I went to Japan for the Japan trip. See, so I like to do, there's one for England. I, I think yeah, the, the England trip is amazing. Because that's, super, you're playing a castle. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm this, thinking this latest one is in I, a castle. If we could, if I ever win the lotto, I have lots of money. I would want people to go there so we could play Pendragon in a castle. 
right? Meaning. Like just you know, it's like the, the real Pendragon, not not the one I've been doing for twenty years, but <laughs> actually play you know a Pendragon uh, session.